Hey, Kevin, what are you looking at? Well, this is the old uh, cap off of my AHP Alpha Cut 60 over here. And that's a plasma cutter. And this just screws on the end of the gun right here, holds everything together. This is the business end. And after a while they wear out, you know, the, the nozzles wear out, the tips wear out. These poor caps are right down in there in the flame, you know, in the spatter and what have you, and they get all burned up and crispy. So I've got a new one, and I've got a better one. So one of the problems that you run into with plasma cutters is when you're, uh, when you're running these things, that tip is hot electrically. So if you get right down on your metal and you just happen to accidentally touch that tip to the metal as you're trying to make a cut, basically you short out the machine once, no problem. You know, three, four times, yeah, no problem. If you have a habit of doing that, you're gonna blow up something in the machine. So while this you know, open design, if you will, where there's no guide on here. This is great if you're freehand and you know you want to be able to see what you're doing. You're working in tight little quarters or something like that. That's great. But if you shake a little, you know, if you're just going to make a long cut or something, they have a drag guide, and this just goes on in place of your regular cap, screws right into place, and now you've got this little guide. So that'll just allow you to keep your distance off your metal. It prevents you from, you know, grounding out the tip, shorting the, gu the gun out to the metal. And you can see what you're doing, but you just drag that, that little guide along the metal with you, and that helps a whole bunch. But now, just to make things a little different, you know, a little better, in my opinion, we can get rid of this cup, and now they have this guy, and he just goes on in the same place. And what you see on the end here is this is a drag cup. So this brass part is actually insulated from the tip. So this is cold electrically. It's got the little reliefs cut in it. So the sparks and what have you can come out of there if they want to. But this allows you to go right down on your metal and drag across your metal this way without having to use that little wire guide. That helps to put more of the light under the metal rather than above. Helps keep more of the sparks under the metal rather than above. So I got the AHP Alpha Cut 60 running at uh, 50 amps. I've got it set at about 75 PSI on the air pressure. I've got a piece of quarter inch plate steel sitting here. And I thought, well, let's go ahead and make a cut with this little drag guide on it so you can see what that does. And then I'll put that drag cup over it instead and you can see the difference there. And now let's try it with the drag cup on there instead. You can see that definitely makes a difference in the sparks that are coming out. You know, the light that your glasses have to combat. Anybody standing around you, you know, even if they're not looking your way, they're going to catch some of that stray light in the corner of their eye. So it's a good safety issue too, I think. You know, keep that light down there where it's kind of hidden, if you, if you will. So you're probably asking yourself, or even yelling at the screen, Hey Kevin, where'd you get them? George's Plasma Cutter Shop www.georgesplasmacuttershop.com, okay? Go talk to George, get online, give him a call, either way. He has these, uh, these tips and these cups and what have you for the IPT60s. That fits this machine, the uh, AHP Alpha Cut, but it'll fit any of the IPT60 torches, any of the PT60 torches. I also hear he's getting the same setup in for the PT-80 torches, like on the big Everlast uh, Power Cut 80, their big 80 amp plasma cutter. He'll have this setup for them also. So 
Give George a call if you want to order some. Tell him I sent you. He might even give you a little extra something. I'm going to go ahead and clean this mess up, and I'm going to get myself back to work. You guys are going to reach right down there and click that subscribe button for me. I'll see you next week. Hey, Kevin. What are you playing with? My nipples.